Anderson Silva is my goal. I find it very odd and funny how everybody wants to act like when they come up with the GOAT conversation. Everybody wants to act like because Anderson Silva tested positive for PEDs way after he was out of his prime when he wasn't champion anymore that that disqualifies him from the GOAT conversation. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Are you kidding me? Everybody in the motherfucking UFC was <laughs> no motherfucking PEDs. But here's the crazy part, though. Anderson Silva, in his one fight where he was on PEDs, it was, at, it was to heal his fucking leg, bro, from the pain. The steroids, the, it literally talked about healing properties in what he took. And in that fight, they also disqualified Nick Diaz. It, that whole fight was ruled a no contest. It was ruled a no contest. So you're going to disqualify. So you're going to disqualify Anderson Silva, Anderson fucking Silva from the GOAT conversation. DC tries to say this shit, but y'all want to say that John fucking Jones is the GOAT? When he is king of the Picos, when he has tested positive, when he, no champion has tested more positive in the UFC than John fucking Jones. But y'all want to say he's the GOAT? But you want to exclude what Anderson Silva did in the UFC? Are you kidding me? What are we doing here? What are we doing here, ladies and gentlemen? Are y'all forgetting what Anderson Silva... Matter of fact, before I go into stats of Anderson fucking Silva, are y'all forgetting that when Anderson Silva, John Jones, and GSP was all competing, Anderson Silva was considered the fucking GOAT? Are y'all forgetting this? Seriously, when Roy Jones made that song, y'all must have forgot. It's so true. MMA fans, boxing fans forget so quickly greatness once they retire. Y'all all y'all go right to, next to the big thing. Right next to the big thing. <laughs> y'all must have forgot that when Anderson Silva, GSP, and John Jones was all still actively competing, Anderson Silva was the GOAT. And GSP refuse to move up and fight Anderson Silva for the first super fight. Dana White tried to make that fight for years. GSP kept ducking and dodging and making excuses about just moving up one weight class to fight Anderson Silva. He did not want the smoke. Anderson Silva wanted the smoke. Anderson Silva was the first fighter that was moving up. He was going up to light heavyweight, knocking motherfuckers out to save events and then coming back down. He was the first person doing that. Y'all must have forgot that Dana White even tried to make the super fight between John Jones and Anderson Silva, and John Jones did not want the fight. Anderson Silva was willing to move up to fight John Jones. Prime John Jones versus Anderson Silva, the GOAT. Everybody wants to see. Oh, y'all forget. Y'all must be new. Y'all must be new to the sport. I've been watching UFC since I was a teenager, and I'm 49 years old. I was watching the UFC when it was in the porn section at video stores behind the curtain and it was damn near illegal to watch it on VCR. And I was a teenager in the 90s. Y'all must be new. Y'all must be new. If you are forgetting that John Jones did not want to fight Anderson Silva because he said Anderson Silva was his role model, his inspiration, his, like he was Anderson Silva's biggest fan, the reason that he got into the sport. And then they became friends. Remember? And then he started training with Anderson Silva. That's what, that's what John Jones does. The people that he would he feared, he became he becomes their friend. He did it with Francis. He's doing it with Alex Mahea now. He, that's what he does. So miss me. Miss me. 
with now trying to say that Anderson's not the GOAT because he retired. Are you kidding me? Or because he lost to Jake Paul in a boxing match after 40, 40 something years old. Are you kidding me? GSP, Anderson Silva, and John Jones was all actively competing. And Anderson Silva was ranked number one pound for pound best GOAT and called the GOAT at that time. Let me read the fucking stats since y'all seem to forget that. Y'all seem to forget that they all was competing at the same time and Anderson Silva was the one knocking everybody the fuck out while John Jones and GSP was going to decisions with everybody. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. Let's get into the stats. Anderson Silva, 2,457 consecutive days as a champion. Longest title reign in UFC history. 20 main events, most in UFC history. 16 consecutive wins, most in UFC history. 14 finishes, third in UFC history. 11 knockouts, tied for second in UFC history. 11 title fight wins, fourth in UFC history. Eight consecutive finishes, most in modern era. Now. And if you watch Anderson Silva live, ladies and gentlemen, then you know, like I know, that Anderson Silva was finishing people in the craziest ways. Unlike GSP and John Jones at that time, he was doing, he was looked at as the modern day Bruce Lee. He was doing shit that was out of the fucking matrix. He was the Muhammad Ali of MMA. Are you kidding me? Are you forgetting the flying knee against Bisbee? The destruction of Chris Lieben when nobody destroys Chris Lieben like that. The front kick to Vitor Belfort's face. The greatest comeback in UFC history against Shell Sonnen. Are you forgetting what he did to Dan Henderson? Nobody does that to prime Dan Henderson. Even out of his prime, he really beat Michael Bisbee by flying knee. I'm telling are y'all forgetting? He even the first person to go to a whole decision with Israel Adesanya. And he was way out of his prime. Come on, man.